In May 2016, Paul Barlow was announced the winner of the DAF Transport Efficiency Driver Challenge. Three months later, I'm going to catch up with Paul here near Cannock at New Holly's Transport Cafe to ask him a few questions about life after the challenge, life as a truck driver, and what the future holds for the transport industry. Okay, Paul, so I want to sort of go right back to the beginning, really. Your uh, career as a driver, how did it all get started? I went to work at my dad's company because he was in haulage anyway. Okay. And I just kind of fell in, fell into the role, really. That was about 20, 20 years ago now. I was a self-employed driver for a long time, so I started with Seven Trent about 18 months ago. So then the driver challenge, uh, just three months ago, did you expect to win? No, I mean, I'm not, not just saying that, I really, I really didn't think I was in with the chance. I was quite surprised by how challenging all the different rounds were. What did you make of the challenges? What, what was, uh, I suppose, the, the one you enjoyed the most or you found the hardest or, or found the easiest? The one I enjoyed the most would probably be the tipper challenge. I think everyone enjoyed that because it was off-road, it was fast-paced and uh, it was good fun. Um, and what's the reaction been like at, at work or with, you know, sort of with friends and family when you, when you told them that you'd won? Friends at work, plenty of ribbing. Yeah. <laughs> saying uh, my head's getting bigger now by the day, but uh, Seven Trend have been really positive about it and uh, yeah, they're really happy for me. Obviously 20 years experience, been driving a lot of vehicles. How do you think the, the DAF truck sort of stacks up to the competition? Also, I've driven most of the marks over the years, but I say that the DAF is the main one I, I seem to end up with. It's up there with the best now, especially the, new, the newest, latest shapes. And in terms of modern trucks, uh, obviously a lot of development with Euro 6 and, and modern vehicles, but is there anything you'd improve or change about how trucks are developed? Um, well, hopefully not driving themselves, because that seems to be the way it's going. But Yeah. <laughs> Do you think that's a genuine threat? Um, I think I'm not too overly worried about it. I mean, on, on most jobs I've had, I'm just thinking now, the places we go, you, I can't quite see how a driver's vehicle could work. So changing the subject a little bit, Paul, and as, as a driver, I want to find out sort of from, from your point of view, what are some of the issues that are affecting drivers? I think the biggest thing at the moment seems to be the driver shortage. We seem to struggle to recruit um, qualified drivers and especially younger drivers. What do you think could be done? How could you attract them and recruit some younger drivers into the industry? I think they could do with a, a proper apprenticeship route and uh, some kind of student loan for the um, license. If you're at the age of 21 and, and you're expected to find three and a half to four thousand pounds yourself, it's an awful lot of money to find up front. Once you're in and you find a good company to work for, it can be a really rewarding job and, and the benefits and wages are there. It's just getting to that level really. That's definitely the way forward, I think. Are there any other issues um, that sort of you know, are affecting drivers or, or um, the transport industry in general that you think uh, should be addressed or looked at? Uh, I think the driver CPC, just more role specific I suppose, more related to the role you're carrying out on a day to day, it needs to be focused on what you're, what you're actually doing. And in terms of your own future, where do you see yourself uh, moving as a driver? I'm quite interested in bringing young people into the industry so I, I think I'd really enjoy um, a training role or mentoring role. If they can keep on getting new blood into the industry I think you know, the future's looking good. So the future's looking positive then. Paul Barlow, thanks very much for joining us.